Well, good morning, everyone, and thanks for coming out today. I'm Terry Leeds, the uh, Director for Water Services for Kansas City, Missouri, and it's my pleasure to kick things off this morning. We're going to have several people speak, and then we'll do a ribbon cutting, cutting, and then there will be a tour after that. So um, our mission, water services, provide excellent water, wastewater, stormwater and services to ensure the health and safety of our customers while safeguarding our regional water resources for future generations. As a part of that, we broke ground on this 40 plus million dollar uh, expansion of our sanitary sewer system. Uh, since then, we've put in over 10 miles of, of sewer line and we've constructed two brand new uh, wastewater pump stations, it allowed us to take off eight interim pump stations. All of this allows for future to take place in the first and second creek watersheds or is now known by Twin Creeks. Um, several years ago when we started uh, trying to kick off what, as Terry referred to, as first and second creek, which became the Twain Creeks project. I was up on Platte Purchase Road with a landowner and an old farmer and I asked him, I said, hey, are you going to be willing to donate easements for this uh, future sewer project that's going to go in? And he said, heck son, my dad gave uh, sewer easements back in the 60s for this project. I'd be more than glad to give them now to get this thing going. So uh, as you can see, this thing's come uh, from a long time ago to now uh, to fruition. And that uh, has come really because of the leadership uh, of the city and Mayor James and uh, Councilman Ford and Councilman Johnson at the time. And then a lot of uh, work with the uh, Northern Regional Chamber, uh, the Platte County EDC and some of those groups that uh, have been really involved as, as well as uh, private business. We're standing here today at Benton House of Tiffany Springs. This is an eight and a half million dollar assisted living and memory care uh, facility that ties into the Quail Run branch, which actually runs on that tree line over there. And sewers themselves are not real sexy and you can't really see when these things are in the ground. But what you do see is buildings like this that are an immediate return on investment for the $40 million invested. So Hunt Midwest partnered with uh, Principal Senior Living several years ago to bring you know, assisted living and memory care to the, uh, to the Northland. We opened up a facility over in uh, the Shoal Creek area and then just recently opened this building, which allows uh, you know, grandparents uh, to stay close to their grandkids it allows seniors to be close to their uh, the retail and their doctors and that sort of thing. And that's, this is a directly a, you know, a result of the first and second creek going in. Um, it's kind of a funny term. We like to call this the first flush. This was the first building, new building, off of the uh, sanitary sewer lines. We also own 300 acres up on Platte Purchase at the southeast corner of Platte Purchase and Shoal Creek Parkway. Uh, that will also be a return on this investment uh, these sewers provide. Uh, sanitary sewer for that project. It's got 500 single family homes, uh, about 450 townhomes, and 26 acres of neighborhood retail uh, and commercial. We're doing the first phase of engineering on that right now and expect to come out of the ground in 2016 with that project. Kansas City's Twin Creeks area is a blank slate of opportunity. As I mentioned, 14,000 acres to build uh, the new Kansas City, the next generation of suburban uh, Kansas City. Uh, that will be attractive for not only its re the 70 to 100,000 residents, but for the 500,000 residents of Kansas City and the 2.2 million residents of the metropolitan area. This is, and for that reason, this is a strategic investment. I want to thank the Kansas City Water Services Department, who found a way to get this done. When the council passed a resolution, I think they gave me 60 days to figure out a funding source. I apologize profusely to Councilman Ford and Councilman Johnson. I think it took me about 72 days uh, to come up with the funding mechanism, but thanks to Water Services and our partners at Hunt Midwest and MD Management, we were able to put together a true public-private partnership to get the work done on time and on budget and, and open up this area for development. So uh, what you're seeing before you, again, is 14,000 acres of proof what it takes to make Kansas City a world-class city. So thank you very much. It's my, oh, my great pleasure and honor to introduce uh, Mayor Sly James. Now that's not growth that's gonna happen overnight, and I know people like to see everything change in a flash of an eye, but it just won't be like that. This is a generational move. This is a long-term investment in the future of this city and in the future of the Northland. And that's how great cities get and stay great. They grow and they build on firm foundations, and this is the firm foundation that the Northland needs in order to accommodate that type of growth in the future. And we talk about bridges across the Missouri that made Kansas City a railroad town back in the 1850s, but just as important 
was the infrastructure that was in the terms of water pipes from the water treatment plant just on the north side of the river that ran downtown into the south side of the river and the city. So in a sense, this celebration today is like that. It's a major improvement that enables our entire city to grow and become a better place to play, work, and to raise families and enjoy life. And in order to do this, that means that we have to rely on a lot of people and we have to put in a lot of work. So I want to thank you all for joining us here today to celebrate the first step in making this a prosperous, uh, vibrant part of Kansas City. Y'all ready? Yeah, you tell us when there, Mr. Cameron. In one, two, three. Yeah. Here. All right.